Hi, my name is Kate and you are very welcome here on my channel and in the world of beautiful fragrances and perfume associations. And today I would like to talk about the note of coffee. Lately, my friends have been asking me a lot, strangely a lot, about do you know any fragrance with a note of coffee? I'm looking for something with a coffee. So I decided to make a video uh, because Probably it's not only my friends who are looking for something like that, but other people. So let's begin. And I would like to start with um, Maison Margiela replica. This is, of course, coffee break. I'm actually wearing it right now, and I can tell you exactly how it smells. And it actually smells like... Um, you know when you have cappuccino, there's a thick layer of... Um, of a foam so this smells like that foam with the lavender syrup on it this is actually a fougere uh, so <clears throat> it has a pretty strong um, lavender note and but it's not it's not very very strong here um, and actually I noticed that on my boyfriend it comes out much more than on me on me it's more creamy I recommend it for going to have coffee in the morning or just for nice walk or when you do something casual you can wear it to the office too um, it's not super long lasting but you will get maybe four hours out of it which is okay for many people next fragrance I want to talk about I have already sprayed when I was getting ready for this video um, this is Killian intoxicated I have this cute little bottle uh, I don't know, maybe you want to take a look. And it smells like cardamom and coffee. Or, more exactly, coffee with cardamom. I know there are, there are mentioned other notes like cinnamon, and nutmeg, spices. But it's pretty straightforward. This is coffee with cardamom. It's pretty realistic. It's not like um, a latte. So it's not creamy it's not a creamy coffee and you know what actually when I was preparing for this video I decided to use this this is my personal coffee freshly grown coffee and I decided to to smell some of it to compare it and to try to find something like this um, in the fragrances but this one is a little bit different I associate it as the um, um, coffee that is made on sand or something like that. Sometimes I even feel like there is something soapy in it a little bit, but it's probably cardamom. It's probably this um, cold aspect of cardamom in it. It's very interesting. I recommend it to try. This is not a safe blind buy, blind buy or anything like that. You should get to know this fragrance better before you get it because it's a little bit un unusual and I can see how not everybody would be a huge fan. Oh, and also it's super long lasting and projecting. And I love it in the summer. I actually prefer to wear it in the summer. I like how it opens up better than winter, but I know that many people like it in the winter better. I think in winter it smells colder. Okay, next um, I would like to talk about, okay, let's talk about zoologist actually. Uh, so this is Sivet. Um, I hope you can see this little cute Sivet. I also already sprayed it. And this is interesting because zoologists, they, they, they're hard on YouTube perfume bloggers and just perfume bloggers and people who talk about perfumes because it's not easy <laughs> to talk about their fragrances, but they're exciting. They're really exciting. And... Um, I, I'm not, or maybe I can try to mention the notes that there are here because it's crazy. Top notes are bergamot, black pepper, orange, spices, tarragon, hurt notes, carnation, frangipani, heliotrope, tuberose, ylang ylang, and base notes. Here's this interesting seabed, hi, coffee, incense, leather, labdanum, oak moss, vanilla, and vetiver. So there is everything. I cannot even understand what style, what fragrance family this belongs to because it's just confusing me. 
but what I smell, it's a little bit sour coffee smell. If you know who civet is, it's actually an animal. I've never seen them in person. When I went to Vietnam, I had an opportunity to go to a civet farm and try luwak, the coffee that is produced by this little animal. After they eat coffee beans, they digest them, they poop them out, and then people sell it for a lot of money. <laughs> it's a very, very fancy coffee. I, at that point, maybe now I would try it, but back then, I guess I was not adventurous enough <laughs> and I didn't try it, so I guess maybe in the future. So if it smells like that, I can believe it. It's slightly sour. I know that the coffee bean is not fully digested inside Sivet's stomach, um, but yes, it's, it's slightly sour. I cannot pick up any flowers, I think. Maybe they're just supporting. Maybe they're like this big cushion or pillow for everything. I smell kind of a green coffee, I would say. Not the real coffee. There's nothing like that here. But spices, I can say that I can smell some spices. Maybe not vanilla, but pepper for sure, bergamot for sure, orange. Maybe that's where the sourness comes from too. So try this. Zoologists, they take me to a journey and I love it. It's really fun to, uh, to just spray different ones and smell. I have pretty much all of the testers, but so far I never got any bottles, but I'm sure that I'm gonna work on it in the future. Okay, next one. Let's talk about black opium. I mentioned this in my winter wardrobe video, I think, but let's talk about this again in terms of coffee scent. So, this is a really nice one. I consider this a base for winter. Yes. I don't know. It just kind of relaxes you. Uh, some people say they don't smell coffee in it. I actually smell it. Coffee, vanilla, patchouli, jasmine, orange blossom. There's a lot of stuff mentioned in the notes. But what I smell is probably coffee, especially in the projection. So when I move, I look around and wonder if anybody had coffee around me even if I'm alone in the room. Coffee is very strong in the projection and this is more of this kind of coffee plus with a syrup or vanilla and something nice and sweet in it and I definitely can pick up flowers. I think this is my favorite from Black Opium line. I like the original too. I don't love all other bottles. I don't know. They pretty much the same to me. They're just different aspects that are taking on taken on top but then in an hour or so it goes into the base and the base is very similar to me at least this one has coffee and chocolatey aspect I would even say that it has a little bit of a licorice aspect in it too it's it's very nice it's very relaxing calming um, very it's not simplistic but it's simple it's nice if it's something that I can wear and I know that it's gonna make my mood better and I know that it's gonna work and be cozy and nice for winter and it's gonna warm me up a little bit. So I recommend to try this one if you never tried the particular, the uh, Black Opium Ex Extreme. Did I show the bottom? Didn't I? I don't remember. <laughs> this is my favorite from the line. So. I recommend this one if you just want to get to know black opiums or not sure where to begin because there are a lot of flankers. Um, try with this one. I think it's a good, um, good fragrance. Okay, uh, next let's talk about Mantal. Again, I have two testers of this. I don't need the whole bottle because this will serve me for next 10 years. This is Intense Cafe by Mantal. And, um, you know, it's interesting because it's not as much about coffee as about Rose's Musk or Rose Musk, another fragrance by Montal uh, that is very, very popular and famous with this beast mode Montal uh, Musk 
which is a little bit too strong for me sometimes. Sometimes it's even annoying. Yes, they're long lasting, they're projecting, but by the end of the day, I really want to have a, have a break, you know, because this is a beast. Um, and I don't know why they actually call it Intense Cafe, because it's more about Rose's mask, that pink bottle, a leather picture. Um, but there is a slight coffee aspect in it. Like somebody just left with a cup of coffee from, like you're in a coffee shop, uh, just came in and you want, you go into stand in line and somebody passed who wears Rose's mask just passed by with a fresh cup of coffee in front of you. And they left because there's not so much coffee. If you want, uh, if you like Montal, if you don't mind the musk and everything, um, you can try Intense Cafe Ristretto. Uh, Ristretto. <laughs> it's, um, that one really actually has a coffee note that is very strong, very dominant in that fragrance. And if you want the more realistic coffee, go to Intense Cafe Ristretto by Montal. You won't be disappointed unless you don't like Montel masks, because they're pretty strong. But sometimes I like it. When it's cold, and I cannot wear this in the summer, this just suffocates me, I cannot breathe, I cannot think about anything, but in winter that works. And the last fragrance that I have prepared for you today is the one that I have recently uploaded the video about, but as we talk about coffee, I decided why not to add it and mention it anyway. So this is Black Phantom, by Killian. And seeing a big smile on my face when I look at it, you probably realize that I really like this scent. And, oh, oops, okay. Everybody's alive. It's all fine. <laughs> so, this smells like um, coffee and chocolate brittle to me with um, almonds. Not with peanuts, but I would say with almonds. Oh yes, this is so nice, so sweet. This is very, very gourmand and beautiful. I can, I also can smell rum notes. They're not very, very dominant. They're not super strong, so nobody would think that you drink alcohol or anything. It's more about coffee chocolate with um, rum around. It's like rum aroma around it. So maybe this is a brittle with chocolate that was soaked in rum and then soaked in chocolate again. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a boozy candy and it's really, really nice. There's no coffee as when you smell a cup of coffee, but there is some, it's like a coffee smoke, you know? It's like, it's pretty subtle because there are also other very strong notes there. But I can definitely get coffee in it, yes. This pirates on a ship with a stolen coffee, chocolate and rum going to Tartuga or something like that. Yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so this was my coffee set for today. I hope that you liked it. Uh, tell me what are your favorite coffee scents. I also, in addition, I mentioned the uh, Montal uh, coffee, um, Café Intense Ristretto. And also I know that uh, José, I believe the name of it, uh, by Eisenberg, is also a very popular coffee scent and uh, Awake by Acro. And that's it. I hope that you liked it. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like this video, to, uh, to turn on notification bell. It would be really, really great. I don't want you to miss anything. And I hope that I see you soon. Bye-bye.